द लास्ट लेसन दिस इज अ स्टोरी विच इज ऑथर्ड बाय एल्फंस दाउदे सो दिस इज अ स्टोरी विच यू नो इज सेट एट द डेज वेन देर वॉज दिस फ्रेंको प्रशियन वॉर एंड फ्रांस वॉज डिफी डिफीटेड बाय प्रशिया एंड नाउ इन दिस स्टोरी it is the day that the event had taken place and how frank the little boy is going to the school and the teacher m hamel is teaching them the last lesson so frank the that day morning what happened was frank was very very late to school the little frank was very late to school and he was so sure he was so sure he was very scared that he would be scolded by m hamel because he was going to be questioned on participle and with he did not know anything about participle so he was so sure he was very scared he was in great dread of a scolding and for a moment little frank thought that he should run away from the classes he should spend the day outdoors he should he might be watching the warm bright sun or the birds in the woods and all those things or the persian soldiers soldiers having the drill and this was more tempting than whatever in the school that uh, m hamel the teacher is going to talk about participles are going to ask the question but however he resisted he thought okay fine let me go to the school he slowly passed the town hall okay and when he was passing the town hall he saw a huge crowd near the bulletin board that is a notice board near the bulletin board he saw a huge crowd and for last two years all the uh, news that this bulletin board would carry was a lost battle or some orders of the commanding officer etc he even thought what may be the matter what may be the reason that uh, the bulletin board there is so much of crowd then suddenly he he found the blacksmith vector he was there with his apprentice and he was reading the board and he shouted at uh, frank and said don't go so fast bab you will get to school in your plenty of time frank thought that maybe vector was making fun of uh, frank because he was already late and m hamel was a very strict teacher he was going to ask on participle so maybe vector was making a fun of this boy because he was late then he ran and he just entered school that is m hamel's little garden he just entered there and usually what happens was whenever they used to enter the school they used to find a lot of noise bustle okay a lot of group of people making lot of noises like stretching of desks rapping of uh, sticks opening and closing of desk and everyone repeating lessons in unison on all those things but today it was as if it is a sunday morning it was a holiday there was no noise it was so quiet it was but surprising however little frank he managed to enter the classroom within all the noises he managed to enter the classroom but his teacher m hamel saw him and very kindly that day he stated go to your place quickly little frank we are we were beginning without you so we were like we were going to begin without you so go to your place he went to the bench he sat and he saw that his teacher m hamel was wearing green coat his frilled shirt and a little black silk cap all embroidered this particular dress he never wore until and unless there was some special occasion in the school like inspection or prize distribution etc so it was so surprising 
he just turned around and he just checked the last benches which usually were empty today was filled with some elderly people like old hosser with three cornered hat the former mayor the former postmaster and many others everybody was sad and hosser had a old primer which thumbed were thumbed at the edges okay and now he was wondering that m hamel just took his chair and he was just he sat in the chair and with very with very uh, you know heavy voice he started telling my children this is the last lesson i shall give you the order has come from berlin to teach only german in the school of alsace and lorraine the new master comes tomorrow this is your last french lesson i want to you to be very attentive so he's announcing that this is going to be the last lesson of french because as i said france was defeated by prussian and from the next day german would be taught to them okay and this was a thunder clap okay this was very astonishing news very surprising one and frank was thinking it was his last lesson he he even did not know how to write he was just thinking he doesn't know how to write and and he will never know anything more he always thought he always missed his classes he uh, just went out to seek birds eggs or he wanted to go sliding and all those things so our little frank was in a very great sorrow and he was thinking which he did not learn till date french was for a very difficult subject for him he used he never liked to study french but today the grammar books or the lessons the history of saints everything looked like very old friend it was like as if he's going to miss them forever and ever after then he looked back and he understood that is the reason why every one in the village they were very sorrow they were very sad okay and then what happened was m hamel was asking the question and suddenly by the time he was thinking of all these things his name was being called and the participle which he thought he could speak he got stuck in the very first word he got stuck in the very first word okay and then m hamel instead of scolding him he said i won't scold you little frank you must feel bad enough see how it is every day we have said to ourselves bah i've plenty of time i learn it tomorrow and now see we have come out okay so he's like we always have been postponing our things our works and we always said that we will do it tomorrow but see where are where are we now and that is a great trouble and that is what is a very great trouble with alsac now those people out there will have the right to say to you how is it you pretend to be french man and you can neither speak nor write your own language so they are going to mock at you people who are going to teach you german are going to mock at you and say that you french men do not even know how to read and write french so what french man are you going to be and also he m hamel started complaining about himself and parents because m ha- because frank's parents were never anxious about teaching frank they always preferred to put him into work also m hamel was complaining about himself stating that he also was very casual about M- uh, about frank's learning because usually he used to send frank during the lessons to water the flowers or maybe if he was to go to fishing he used to give a holiday 
so even m hamel was feeling sad about it okay and then after that what happened was it was very clear french is a very clear and logical subject so he was advising everyone to guard the subject to have some love for the subject and it might look as if it is a key to their prison so even they were prison they were bound to learn something else but love for french and learning french would be a key that will be a satisfaction for them okay so then after that after the discussions that had been there at the end m hamel gave them a copy because it was a writing they had to do some writing so m hamel gave them a copy the copy had in the copy it was written alsac french alsac french it was written and it was looking as if it is it was a flag okay so and everyone had a only the sound that could be heard in the class was their writing of the pens or even if the beetle came in and flew away nobody even noticed it even the on the roof the pigeons were also singing very low so even now our little frank was thinking will the germans make the pigeons also sing in german so there was a lot of confusion it was as if what had what they had longed for was almost no more now so this story basically tells you that if you instead of postponing something better to do it right then and there because tomorrow you don't know what might happen suddenly the subject french would convert into german and when the subject french converts into german you will start loving french so better to do whatever you need to do sincerely then and there okay thank you